Pitch and Putt is entertainment and recreation at its very best. What could be more relaxing than playing a round of Pitch and Putt in your local club? The quickest way to improve in Pitch and Putt is to practice in the right way. If your basic technique is not correct, or if you are unsure of what you are trying to do, you may only perfect your mistakes. This brief video sets out the basic steps towards playing and enjoying the game. It will give the newcomer a starting point and may help the established player to solve some problems. But only your coach can really pinpoint the improvements that can be made in your game and give you all the advice you need. Before we go on to learn the technicalities of grip, stance and so on, the most vital lesson is to be learned right here. That is, that pitch and putt is fun. Don't take it too seriously and don't let bad shots get you down. Entertainment and fun are what this game is all about. In this video, the demonstrator is right-handed. For left-handed players, use the alternate to what is said. Where the video says play off to the left foot, left-handed players should play off the right foot. There are six main headings that we are going to look at in detail. These are the grip, the stance, putting, pitching, chipping and bunker play. But first, let's look at how to grip the club properly. With a good grip, it is much easier to bring the club head to the ball square and on line, which is the whole purpose of the swing. The hands should work as a single unit rather than against each other. Lay the shaft across the open left hand from the middle of the forefinger to the base of the little finger. Close the hand over the shaft with the thumb lying along the shaft. The right hand goes on the club close to or better still, overlapping or interlocking with the left. The right forefinger is hooked around the shaft, trigger fashion, and the right thumb, too, lies along the shaft, not on top of it. The Vs between thumb and forefinger of both hands should point towards the right shoulder. How tightly should you hold the club? With control, but gently, like a firm handshake. Remember, the hands work as a single unit. The Vs should point towards your right shoulder and the club should be held gently but with control. If you have the proper stance, it is easy to swing the club in the right direction. This, plus a good grip to keep the club face square at impact, is the foundation of your game. The chief elements of a good stance are common to all strokes. You place the club head behind the ball, then step into position. The ball can be opposite your left toe, or a little further back or forward, depending on the loft of your club and the height and distance you require. You should be relaxed and comfortable with your feet less than a foot apart. Your knees should be flexed, and for pitching the left foot may be drawn back a little from the target line and turned out slightly, the open stance. The shoulders should be parallel to the line and your weight more on your left foot. It is very easy even for an experienced player to align himself incorrectly at address. If your shots are regularly offline, get your coach to check your setup or lay a club shaft across your toes and across your shoulders to confirm that you are lined up and aiming as you wish. Note that the club shaft is lined up with the left shoulder. The shoulders are parallel to the line and the feet are also square. Remember with your stance, place the club first and then position yourself. Be relaxed and comfortable and you should flex your knees. Stand still and concentrate on doing things right here where the ball is, and not over where the hole is. 
These are the keys to successful putting. Set the club head to the ball, properly soled and square to the target line. Settle into a comfortable stance, toes and shoulders parallel to the line, with your weight more to the left. Then take the putter back low and keep it low on the follow through. The club head should be accelerating at impact for a solid hit. Keep your head and eyes down until the ball is well on its way. The shot should be played with your hands and arms. Your body should be kept still. It should not be stiff and rigid, but relaxed and motionless. Take care in lining up your putts. Pick a spot for the ball to go over, and then concentrate on striking the ball well. Judgment of pace will come rapidly with experience. Practice four and five foot putts to develop both your confidence and a solid hit. When putting, remember to keep your putter low and slow. You should play with your arms and not your body, and line up your shots carefully. Backspin, and lots of it, is the goal here. You get it in the orthodox golf style when the ball is addressed with the hands level width or in front of the ball, and the swing is down and through. Backspin can also be achieved in the distinctive pitch and putt swing, evolved over the years to take advantage of the fact that the ball is teed up well clear of the ground. To tee up the ball, place the tee between the fingers and put it into the tee box until your fingers touch the ground. This will add consistency to teeing up. The club is laid open at address, the hands are behind the ball, and the ball is swept upwards off the tee. You set the club head in position, then take up your stance. The backswing starts low and straight before the wrists are cocked. The downswing should be smoothly accelerating. There should be no appearance of haste about the swing. The essence of good pitching is the full use of the arms rather than wristy flicking. And remember to keep your head down and your eye on the ball at impact. With pitching, keep your backswing low and straight. Your downswing should be smoothly accelerating. And as with all shots, keep your head and eyes down until the ball is well on its way. The chipping stroke is down and through. The hands should normally be ahead of the club head at address and kept there throughout the stroke. As with putting, you start the backswing low and straight. Then pick the club head up as you cock your wrists. On the downswing, keep the club face square as you accelerate through the ball. Keep your left wrist firm and the club head low on the follow through. Play the shot with hands and arms and a minimum of body movement. The set of the club face at address will determine how high the ball will fly. There are three main types of chips. The high chip, played off the left foot. The medium chip, played off the middle of your stance. The low chip, played off the right foot. When setting up for a chip, pick a spot for the ball to land and roll to the hole. Then play the shot firmly and confidently. Hesitancy is fatal. For greatest accuracy, play the lowest shot possible and use your putter if conditions allow it. Remember to play with your hands and arms, not your body. You should pick a spot to land the ball and let it roll to the hole. Play the lowest shot possible and keep your eyes and head down. Bunker shots are not as difficult as they look. With a proper setup and a clear idea of what you're about to do, they are virtually foolproof. In almost all situations, you must hit the sand and not the ball. So the ideal way to play this shot 
is to pick a spot about an inch behind the ball and play it. Keep your head down and your eye on the chosen spot throughout the stroke. You set the club head just above that spot, not touching the sand, and take up your stance. Keeping your weight to the left, slide the club head through the sand so that the ball pops up on a cushion of sand. Hit forward, not upwards, and adjust the club face at address for a high or low shot as you would for a chip. Don't be afraid to swing hard. The sand will reduce the force of your blow. As you become more skilled, you will learn when to take more or less sand. With bunker shots, remember to pick a spot an inch or so behind the ball. Do not touch the sand on setting up. Hitch the ball forwards, not upwards, and keep your eye on the spot you pick. Here are a few general hints to remember during the game. Try to take each shot on its own and clear the mind of past mistakes. It helps if you simply concentrate on looking at the ball until it has been well struck. All the drills, grip, good stance, low backswing and so on, have a common purpose. They help you to bring the club face through the ball squarely, travelling on line. When practising, do so with purpose. Sink five putts in a row or put three pitches on the green. If you are having trouble with your game, Ask your coach to watch as you hit a few shots. Remember, when trouble comes, tension grows and you tend to play more quickly, causing mishits. So slow down, take it easy. There is nothing that can go wrong that a good method cannot put right. The most important tip of all is, remember to enjoy yourself. That is what the game is all about.